Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. Hello, this is episode number 14 of the 120 Days to Jump Physics with Flash Isaac. Resolution of vectors continuous. If the angle between two vectors P and Q is 0 degrees, the vectors are said to be dash. If angles between two vectors is 90 degrees, the angles are the vectors are said to be perpendicular. A situation where the angles between the two vectors is zero degrees, it means one is like this, one is like this. When you have parallel lines, the angles between them is zero degrees. So if two if the angle between two vectors P and Q is zero degrees, the vectors are said to be parallel. Option A is the correct option. Look at this typical question. This is what I've been waiting for. The figure above shows four forces: three newton, ten newtons, three root three newtons, and six newtons acting on a particle P. The resultant of the four forces is dash. I love this question. This is question after my heart. Let me draw the diagram. Force one, another force, another force, and another force. And we are asked to look for the magnitude of the resultant of the four forces. No matter how many forces we have, whether we have 50 forces, 70 forces, or 30 velocity, 70 velocity, no matter the number of forces or vectors, we are resolving forces are vectors, velocity are vectors, acceleration are vectors. So if you are resolving forces, you can say resolution of forces or resolution of vectors. Acceleration, the same thing. So all the vector quantities we listed, you can resolve them. And they can be resulted, resolved into the vertical and horizontal axis, since we are dealing with two dimension the first thing we look for is let's find all the vertical components vertical components can be vertically up or vertically downward for vertical downward that is negative because if up is like this and down is like this up and down are opposite you subtract down from the up for the horizontal this is positive positive s yes. this is negative Yes. Positive y, negative y. So the ones acting this way are opposite to the ones acting that way. So I shall simplify it. For the vertical, we have three roots three. No need to resolve because it's already in this vertical. Now, this guy. And this guy, since they are inclined, it means they are in two axes. They are both in vertical and in the horizontal axis. Any inclined body can be resolved or is resolved into both the vertical and horizontal. Our concern now is the vertical. Let's resolve this guy to vertical. Resolving 10 newtons to the vertical, it is... Look at the arrow is going here. So it is the same direction with this. Plus, plus... 10 sine 30 degrees. You notice we are opening up, opening up this angle. 
is inclined to the horizontal, we're opening it up. So we sign plus this guy, this is new thing. We can resolve it to the uh, vertical. Resolving this to the vertical, we are opening up this angle. So it is sign. But look at the arrow. When you resolve it here, the arrow is going down. It's opposite this one. Since they are in different direction, we have to subtract. So here we be plus. Okay, plus normally. But for here, it's minus 6 sine 60 degrees. Any other component? No. Let's see the horizontal. For the horizontal, we have here not inclined. So you write only it. No need to add angle or cos or sine. Not inclined. So three plus. Let's resolve this now to the horizontal. Ten. Resolve it to the horizontal, we are closing this angle. So that is cos. Cos 30 degrees. Then this can also be resolved to the horizontal by closing 60 degrees. Since this direction is opposite this direction, here will be negative. So we say plus minus 6 cos 60 degrees. So this is 3 root 3 plus 10 sine 30 is 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus times minus is minus so we have 6 times sine 60 is root 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 this will give you equals 5 newton for the horizontal we have 3 plus 10 cos 30 is root 3 over 2 plus times minus is minus 6 times cos 60 is 1 over 2 so this is 1 over 2 this should be equals 8.7 newton we are asked for the resultant the resultant will simply be equals Vertical squared, 5 squared, plus horizontal squared, 8.7 squared. That should give you 10 newton. What if we are asked for the direction? Direction theta is equals tan inverse of vertical, 5 newton, over horizontal. 8.7 Newton. So this will give you the direction. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope resolution of vectors makes sense to you now. Let's see another question. The diagram above shows forces. 4 Newton, 6 Newton, 10 Newton, and 8 Newton, which act at a point O in the direction indicated. The net horizontal force is dash. This question is concerned only about the horizontal force, not the vertical force. So the horizontal force will simply be the ones acting in the same direction are 10 newton plus 8 cos 60 newton cos 60 degrees plus 6 cos 60 degrees because 6 cos 60 degrees is acting in the same direction as 10 newton 8 cos 60 degrees is acting in the same direction as 10 newtons but the 4 newtons is acting in the opposite direction it therefore means everything here minus 4 newton which is acting in the opposite direction cos 60 is that 1 over 2 yes so 10 plus 8 1 over 2 plus 6 1 over 2 minus 4 horizontal is equals 10 plus 4 plus 3 minus 4 14 plus 10 plus 4 14 
But that is 13. So this is 13 Newton. So that is the answer to that question. And this question is requiring us to find the net vertical force. And the last one says net horizontal force. This one says net vertical force. The net vertical force is the ones acting in the same direction are 25 Newton. Then we see 20 Newton. The 20 Newton, resolve 20 Newton to the vertical. That will give you plus 20 sine 60 degrees. Because the 20 Newton is acting towards the horizontal. To resolve it to the vertical, it is sine. We are opening the angle. Opening of the angle is sine. So, plus 30 cos 45. The 30 Newton is acting towards the vertical. The one that is going opposite is the 20 Newton. So, everything here minus 20 Newtons. That will give us the net vertical force in the diagram as we can see. If we are looking for the net horizontal force, it will be... 30 sine 45 degrees minus 20 cos 60 degrees and the resultant will obviously be vertical force squared plus horizontal force squared the direction will be tan inverse of vertical over horizontal so resolution of vectors is something very very easy so i don't know why you've been scared to resolve vectors so this is the end of this episode Solve questions on the vectors in the Flatinance Jump application. There is no excuse for failure. Don't say, I did not teach you this, I did not teach you that. Solve those questions. If you have any issue, reach me on WhatsApp. I will answer you. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the class.